Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakahakwadash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. In peace and salutations to you, sincere Akiam out there, pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the brother Raya with another video. And in this video, I'll be profiling a clip from the African Diaspora news channel titled Update on Wilmington Race Soldiers Calling for Purge of so-called black Americans because you so-called uh, black Americans, African Americans in the United States of America aren't black or African. You're the children of Israel, a more specifically of the Southern Kingdom, Judah or Benjamin or Levi. And as we'll see in this clip, back around the George Floyd protests, you had a so-called white or Edomite cop that was accidentally recorded talking about how uh, they need to take the country back and that they're, they want to purge Israelites. And hey, this is all a part of scriptures. There will be racial skirmishes as well as a civil war in the United States of America where these Edomites are going to be coming after you Israelites or so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And you Israelites are going to be fighting against them as well. And hey, all these different nations of people in the United States of America are going to be fighting against each other. Contrary to popular belief, the Most High isn't about all races of people coming together. He's a separatist and he's a supremacist for his people and his people only, the children of Israel, again, known as you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans today. And you Israelites out there that still want to be in that spirit are coming together and, and we are the world or uh, we're all one race, the human race. We all bleed red and you're going to get put to death during these uh, racial skirmishes and civil wars that are coming to the U.S. But before we play this clip, let's get into some precepts. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. And these were some of the end times prophecies that Yahawashai, the son of the Most High, whom the world ignorantly refers to as so-called Jesus told his disciples to look for, to know that they were living in the last days. And as it says in Romans chapter 15, everything written aforetime was written for our learning. Though Yahawashai was speaking to his disciples in the past, he was really speaking to his disciples today who are living in these times of the last days, really the last seconds of the last days. But as it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And as we speak, we can see some of these different signs either in the process of taking place or taking place as we speak. But the point I want to focus in on is where it says for nation shall rise against nation, one race of people fighting against another race of people, race wars. This is Isaiah chapter 13. I'm going to start at verse 14. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. And where it says, and flee every one into his own land. Hey, as the situation continues to deteriorate morally and economically in the United States of America, these different nations of people here are going to start going back to their countries. Hey, but as for you Israelites out there, hey, you've got no nation to flee to. We're in the United States of America as a part of our captivity, and we were supposed to learn from our uh, wicked ways and rebelling against our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and come back to him, which is what the elect of the nation of Israel are doing. But as for the majority of our people, they see America as their rest. And so when these race wars kick off, a, a lot of y'all are going to get put down because you've drank in that uh, Babylonian juice, <laughs> that American juice, thinking that everybody's one, uh, one nation of people. We're all Americans and we're going to come together. Well, you're sadly mistaken. But as it also says, they shall every man turn to his own people in that time. 
everybody's going to get tribal and go back to their own nations of people and fight for their own. And anybody caught outside of that, oh, let's see what it's about to say. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Hey, these people out here that aren't joined unto their own nations of people, but are found slipping and trying to join unto other nations of people are going to be cut down. You coons and bedwinches out there that want to live amongst these Edomites. Hey, even these Edomites that want to live amongst Jake or be friends with Jake and these other nations of people that want to mix with uh, nations that are not their own are going to get put down. And hey, just because you got a so-called good white neighbor that you have barbecues with and they come to your uh, kid's football game in that time, all that shit's going to be wiped under the rug and everybody's going to be fighting for their own and against everybody else. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. And that modern day sword in the United States of America is that gun. Verse 16, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished or great. Hey, these are the terrible times of judgment that Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is bringing to uh, the entire planet, especially the United States of America. Hey, again, these nations are going to rise against nations, and those that are, are going to be found not amongst their people, hey, they're going to fall by the sword, their children are going to be killed before their eyes, their houses are going to be broken into and their goods taken, and their wives are going to be great. But now let's get back into this clip Hey, showing the sentiment that a lot of these Edomites have towards you, Israelites. They have that perpetual hatred towards you, as it says in Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. And it's a spiritual thing. Hey, they hate you because our forefather Jacob supplanted the birthright and the, and the blessing to the kingdom of heaven from their forefather Esau and, and uh, Esau's children these edomites all the way up until today have that perpetual hatred towards you and they're never going to change their uh opinion towards you and are always going to try to do whatever they can to keep you on the bottom and put you to death but we're coming to the end of esau edom and these heathens rulership when the children of israel are going to rule in the kingdom of heaven for eternity and these edomites are going to be underneath our feet and though they'll still hate us hey they won't be able to do a goddamn thing about it but uh, this is a fair use copyright disclaimer. I do not own any of the footage in this clip, nor do I stand to gain from it monetarily. It is simply for educational purposes. Peace family. My name is Vicky Dillard and I'm pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you that as you come in, you give us a big thumbs up and that you share the broadcast. That helps our message to spread to more people. And how many of you know that we here in alternative black independent media are the counter voice to the oppressive classes media apparatus. So you strengthen our collective black voice when you share. Thank you so much, family. You all know that I talked some time ago here on this amazing network about the specific and literal civil war and purge uh, demand coming from this Wilmington, Delaware Police Department, right? You heard the rec And it's not just those officers at the Wilmington, uh, Delaware Police Department. <laughs> like I said, a lot of these Edomites have this very same sentiment towards you Israelites. Hey, they just know that if they, they come out with it, a hey, or, or, uh, or as this guy was got caught, hey, they're going to be publicly ostracized for it. So they keep that opinion to themselves. But hey, when the chips are down, when these food shortages really hit, when uh, this U.S. economy collapses and it's all pandemonium on the streets of the U.S., you're going to see that old 1800s, 1950s spirit come back on these Edomites and they're going to show those horns towards you Israelites. 40. Um, we're, we can play the recording here. Uh, uh, I want you to listen to this just to refresh your memory on what I'm talking about. Listen to this. You know, you have a civil war. Go ahead and wipe them off the map. That'll, that'll put them back about four or five generations. Because, yeah. and then you know what? The good ones can go live in their little communities and they can do what they want to do. Just stay out of my way. The good ones can live in their uh, little communities, but stay the fuck out of my way. Hey, it, it ain't going to matter in that day. 
Coons and uh, Jakes that are at least in their right mind and know that Edomites are their enemy. Hey, everybody's going to be in the crosshairs of these Edomites when they go buck wild out here. But hey, at the same time, the Most High is going to put the spirit on you, Jakes, out here to go against these Edomites as well. As uh, our elder Yakana always says down here, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to lock horns with these white boys out here. It's former Wilmington police officer Kevin Piner talking with another former officer, Jesse Moore. The conversation was recorded on a police cruiser camera, which was accidentally activated. But if we do not get a handle on this we are not going to have a country for our kids to be raised in. In the days... Hey, and America's through. There is no make America great again or a, a second renaissance. America's on its last legs and it's going to collapse uh, economically and then just be completely wiped off the face of the earth by nuclear missiles shot from Russia, China, North Korea, as well as the allies of the U.S., these different NATO nations that are going to turn against her at some point during World War III, and it's going to turn the United States of America, Babylon the Great, spiritual Sodom and Egypt as pursuant to Revelation 11 verse 8 into a desolate, uninhabitable wasteland from sea to shining sea. And then when uh, everything's said and done, you Edomites that survive this nuclear destruction outside of America are going into slavery under the Israelites. And all you Edomite Americans that died in America, you're going to be reincarnated through the loins of the Edomites that survived and go straight into slavery as well. Boy. Before police and protesters clashed in Wilmington following national calls to end police brutality after the murder of George Floyd, a black man in Minneapolis. You told me tonight, you said, all right, tomorrow's a purge day, get as many as you want. Do not go down there. I'm with you, Kevin. I'd go, down, I'd go down there and slaughter them mother The recordings were not only created by chance, but also discovered by chance when a super... And remember, this is a... A police officer out there to so-called serve and protect and a lot of these cops out here when they get uh, caught like this they either and if they get fired or moved to a different department hey, it, it doesn't matter because hey, a lot of them are former military and a lot of them are in these different militia groups that are training as we speak for uh, the civil war that they know is coming to the US and these racial skirmishes out here conducting random audits of video footage decided to take a listen so I just sat down as a supervisor we're supposed to review a video from each person every month and I just sat down that day saying I'm gonna try to get knock a few out today and that's what I was doing that's the supervisor who discovered the videos talking to Wilmington Police Department's internal affairs after she reported what she found the court evidence exclusively obtained by WECT included not only the racist recordings but four internal affairs investigations as well, including the three officers captured in the recordings. Both Jesse Moore and Kevin Piner admit that these are their voices in the recordings, and both say that the conversations were them venting, something internal affairs wanted to know a little bit more about. Uh, you just used the term and then you follow that up with having to take it to a Negro magistrate. And so what, what's, what's going on with that? Is that just how you vent? So yeah, I, I shot my mouth off, shouldn't have done that. That's not who I am. I'm not a racist. Keisha James. Bullshit. Ezekiel 35 verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, never ending hatred, continuous hatred. An attorney with the National Police Accountability Project says regardless of stress on the job, this was more problematic than just venting. It's really hard to believe that these officers were just venting especially when you have them calling for civil war and you have them um, using racial slurs there's no doubt law enforcement is a stressful job and in recent years there has been a strain between the community and police both piner and moore told internal affairs that the tension at the time was reaching a boiling point the whole thing that started this whole conversation man it's just that i'm just at a breaking point you know for many, the hate-filled language from the now former Wilmington Police Department officers came as a shock. But for Piner's supervisor, who found the recordings, it wasn't. So did what you hear on the video surprise you? No. 
The supervisor explains how she overheard similar, albeit less inflammatory, conversations during lineup in the prior days. On the larger level, James says it's not the fact that the officers said these things. I'd say with this clip, you get the point. But as that Edomite cop said, hey, I'm just at a breaking point. And a lot of Edomites eh, in the police and from other walks of life eh, are at that breaking point. And as the saying goes, pressure bus pipes. Hey, there's going to come a point to where blood will start flowing through the streets of the United States of America. Blood of the Israelites, blood of these different heathen nations in America, and as well as blood of Edomites as well. From the other nations fighting against Edomites in these uh, coming race wars, as well as Edomites fighting against each other in the second civil war that's coming to the U.S. But that's it with this clip. Let's get back into these precepts. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Again, that modern day sword in the U.S. is that gun, which during the summer of 2020, during those George Floyd protests, there was the highest ever seen uptick in new gun owners. And hey, those guns aren't going to stay in those cases and collect dust. They're going to be getting used out here. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. And that one people standing up and fighting against another it goes into many things. One race or nation of people standing up and fighting against another, and one uh, political ideology of people standing up and fighting against another. Conservatives against liberals, red versus blue, Republican versus Democrat, as well as one class of people standing up and fighting against another, and the lower classes going against the middle and the upper classes, and people outside of the government going against people in the government. When you read in the next verse, it says, for there shall be sedition amongst men. And that word sedition means conduct or speech, inciting open rebellion against a ruling authority or monarch. And we saw in that previous clip, hey, that that uh, that Wilmington Edomite cop was had very uh, seditious speech that he was saying, talking about purges and uh, fighting to bring the country back, civil unrest and all that. And it also says in the next verse that uh, they shall not regard their kings nor princes and your modern day kings and princes are these political figures, mayors senators governors presidents prime ministers etc etc hey when these civil wars kick off and that nobody's going to care what the authorities have to say and hey, they're going to be looking at these very same authorities as the ones that got them in this situation hey but again race wars are coming nation rising against nation and uh one people standing up and fighting against another and a civil war as well with Edomites fighting against each other. It's going to be a free for all in the United States of America. And if you're not of that elect number, the nation of Israel, hey, you're going to get put down in it and get thrust through with the sword. Your children getting dashed to pieces, your uh, house is getting spoiled, and your wives getting ravished. But now I'm going to close it out in Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And the modern day spiritual Egyptians are you Edomite Americans. Like I said earlier, the United States of America is known as spiritual Sodom and Egypt as pursuant to Revelation 11 verse 8. This isn't talking about the ancient Egyptians who were uh, Hamites or so-called Africans, Mizraim. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands a second civil war edomites from all different walks of life fighting each other over many issues different political affiliations class issues as well as those outside of the government fighting against those in the government so that's it with this video and with this video i hope you sincere akim and akwath were edified and when we see information like that in that clip, we know that we are quickly coming into the times of Jacob's trouble when these prophecies are going to come to their full fulfillment. And there's going to be mass death, destruction and judgment going on out here. So it would behoove you.
to do whatever you can to stay in the good graces of your power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, so you can have that protective hedge over you and be saved from these calamities when they really start hitting. And Abarat Azad, this is the year that all this hell breaks loose. Apostle Tahar has deemed 2023 to be the hopeful year that all prophecies come to their fulfillment. So, uh, Again, that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope you sincere Akim and Akwath were edified. Just keep strong. We're almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites, primarily from the United States of America. So as always, I'm going to say Abad Babal, Kwam Yasharala, and until next time, Shalom.